everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Color Out of Space. So, um, I don't know. It's about this farm that gets struck by a meteorite, and strange things start to happen, um, and it in impacts a family that's living there. I don't know. Uh, alien takeover, I'm not sure. Nicolas Cage is in it. Tommy Chong is in it. Um, Jolie Richardson is in it. Um, from Nip Tuck. Nip -tuck. And it's 6.2 on IMDb. So I have to say, over the past, I don't know, five, six movies that I've seen Nicolas Cage in, this is the highest rating one um, that I've seen him in, 6.2. So um, I still haven't seen Primal yet, so um, we'll see. But that one's ranked pretty low. So 6.2, so it's an hour and 50 minutes long. I'll get into it, find out what it's really about, give you a better idea of the synopsis, and then ultimately tell you what I think. So it's supposed to be a horror sci-fi film, but we'll see what it's about. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Color Out of Space. Um, we're at the one hour, 38 second mark. There's not a lot to tell, uh, to be honest with you. I wasn't even sure if I was going to check in, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, as it kind of leads you to believe that a meteorite or something like a meteorite hits outside this family's home. It's Nicolas Cage, his wife, and three kids. Um, <clears throat> also in the, the movie is a, a, a water surveyor and um, um, and then Tommy Chong is, uh, I forget what he is, but he lives like around the property as well. Um, maybe I'll think of it, but whatever. So they're the main characters in this. And this meteorite or whatever it is hits the ground and now there's appear to be impacts from it um you know alien type impacts or you know mystical but it, it, they're, they're trying to allude to the fact that it's aliens it's not a secret or a spoiler or anything like that so um <clears throat> people are getting sick um they're losing time so they're they're doing one thing and the next thing you know time has passed by um they're acting in very strange ways they're seeing different things and you know all that kind of stuff nothing really over the top yet has happened um just really weird kind of stuff and so that's really what's going on so far <clears throat> up until recently nicholas cage was doing pretty good i thought but and i i'm guessing <laughs> um this meteorite is impacting the way he's acting and i think that's maybe what's going on i don't know yet i'm hoping so um, that's interesting, uh, but other than that, there's not much else to tell, to be honest with you. That's really the basis of it, and I want to share it, we wanted to share it with you, so. Um, you know, they live in a secluded area. They have, like, their own farm with alpacas and stuff like that. Um, but they live far away from everybody. And that's it. <laughs> so, let me get back to it, see if anything else interesting happens, but, um, if anything does, I'll let you know. Um, either way, I'll let you know my final thoughts on the film. So stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the um, credits of Color Out of Space. And wow, it's, I don't know. I don't, really don't know what to say. Um, so if you've seen Mandy, it kind of reminds me of that. Maybe because of Nicolas Cage gets to be like, the crazy Nicolas Cage. You know how he can sometimes just be just the most ridiculous person? Well, I mean, he's not the most ridiculous, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. He gets all Nicolas Cagey in this. Um, but it's supposed to happen because this meteor has been impacting it. And, well, it escalates. So it starts off as, like, mysterious and weird and strange and what's going on. You know, goes full-blown sci-fi horror. Um, imagery, um, grotesqueness kind of stuff, you know, it just, it just really, really escalates, um, you know, to a beyond belief kind of concept, uh, you, you know, might be some poor CGI in it and stuff like that, but it's really like way out of the realm, I don't know, of what realm, it's just way out of there, and it, and it, and it, it takes a little bit and it leans itself there, but then it finally gets there. So I really don't know. I mean, it's for me, every now and then it's based on a short story, whatever. There's a lot of, I don't, I don't want to say holes. There's not holes. There's a lot of 
missing elements for me that I don't understand, but it's okay when I watch this film. Like, I don't need to understand everything and what was going on, because I think that's part of the allure. Um, I'm not saying this is a fantastic film, but it's different. It is very, very different, um, I think, you know, from what I saw and, and, and the, the way it takes and everything like that. So it leaves a lot of questions, but I think in a good way. Um, but, I mean, it's bad, too. <laughs> it's, it's like, not a, a great film. It's bad, but it's so off the wall that it's interesting. So, um... Whew, I don't know. Nicholas Cage is Nicholas Cage in it, and it's like, eh, he's like, Ugh. Um, everybody else, um, whoever, the, uh, Jolie was interesting, um... And what goes on there? I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. But prepare yourself for for very um, alien or sci-fi. I wouldn't say alien. Sci-fi horror, gross um, movie. You know that uh, that really challenges your imagination. So go into it with that. Don't think you're going to see something that that might make sense or um, you know, is something that you, we see normally. This is something completely different. And if you go into it with that, with an open mind like that, you might find it interesting. Still, not a great film, don't get me wrong, but it is very interesting. And if you could stomach Nicolas Cage being all Nicolas Cagey, um, check it out. I don't know what to give it to really be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm, Anywhere from like a two to a six on this. I mean, like, I don't know. They, they, they held my interest because it was so wild. All right. That's it. That's all I got for you. Check it out. Love to hear your comments. Um, sorry, I couldn't be more, um, couldn't give you more information. Uh, but it's, uh, but I don't want to because that's the way I saw it is with little amounts of information. Um, but I've given you enough to go check it out if you like the weird and, and you want to be surprised, good or bad, check it out. Okay? That's all I can tell you. And uh, if you do, let me know. Hopefully you see what I see, in a sense. And, uh, you know, like my channel and leave me comments and subscribe and tell all your friends. So, alright. I <laughs> hope to hear from you on this one. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.